The first winemaker we ever employed here at Best Wines at Great Western was Trevor Mast. Regrettably, uh, Trevor passed away about two weeks ago. And um, to me, uh, it was a very, very sad occasion. Trevor was not only a winemaker here for 12 years, uh, but he came at a period when there was so much happening in industry. It was a booming industry. There was so much new, there was so much change in technology, there was so much change in everything. And uh, Trevor was with us during that whole period. And he was very inventive, uh, extremely vigorous person. Um, quite often, sometimes hard to control because of his enthusiasm. But it was certainly a wonderful part of my life, um, working with Trevor for about 12 years. Uh, certainly he came um, at that period when reasoning was dominant and we had large problems with excess of Shiraz. So being the innovative person that Trevor was, uh, we made white wine out of Shiraz. Now you might say that's pretty impossible, but uh, if you try hard enough you can do anything. And um, in those days, um, uh, Chablis was becoming one of the in varieties, so we made uh, white wine out of Shiraz and, and mainly called it Chablis. But that's what happened in those days. Things were a bit different today. But certainly he was innovative and a, a wonderful person to work with. Um, during this period, uh, in the later part of the period working for us, he also was involved with Langy Duran, uh, which was owned by the Fratton brothers, uh, who, while had a knowledge of vineyards, had little or no knowledge of wine at all. And this is where they engaged Trevor to assist them. Uh, and he assisted them. And when they no longer wanted to continue with the business, uh, he brought in um, investors to purchase the business. And it was Trevor who uh, developed uh, the uh, Langageran label and the Langageran wines. And I don't think uh, without uh, the work that Trevor did, uh, Langy Duran would certainly be, uh, be, I don't say unknown, but wouldn't have the enormous reputation and uh, enormous following what it has today. Um, Trevor came to us in uh, 75 uh, with his wife, Sandy, and they had one young daughter at that stage. They lived in Great Western for a while, and they built a house in Ararat. Uh, Trevor was always involved in everything local. He was very in uh, the local school with the church and uh, if anything, like, anybody wanted anything at all done, Trevor was the man to do it. He's also involved in the industry. Um, he was served on a number of industry associations. Um, he had an onerous uh, judging uh, round, uh, which he judged in, I'd say, most national shows in Australia and was a great contributor to the Australian industry. Um, he was probably one of the most respected people I know in the industry and one of the finest. And um, our, our deepest sympathy to Sandy and her, her family of four beautiful girls, or young ladies now, I think they are. And, uh, but it certainly was very tragic, but I guess uh, that's life and we just get on. But um, Trevor was uh, a very much part of my early life here at Best Great Western.